Drum roll, please. The Righteous Kitchen. I am getting ready to make a vegan dinner. I am using a baked sweet potato and simple vegetables for vegetable fajitas. So I'm gonna bake the sweet potato in the oven, just plain. It's gonna take an hour, uh, depending on the size of your potato. This here is almost done. You want it to be fork tender. It's going in there right now. So I'm gonna let it continue um, while I get the fajitas done. I'll cut back the heat a little bit to 300. I baked this probably about 40 minutes at 375. So I'm gonna cut the heat to 300 and let it continue while I cook the vegetable fajitas. My griddle is off to the side preheating. I'm using portobello mushroom, uh, bell peppers, and onion. The portobello mushroom, I am going to just slice it about half inch slices. and into the bowl. I'm going to use half of a bell pepper. And I'm going to de-seed. We'll get these cleaned up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and slice these. And I'm going to use half of a white, or you could use yellow onion. And just give this a slice. We'll come back to the cutting board in just a moment. I've got the vegetables in this bowl. I have my homemade fajita seasoning. See how that stays nice and powdery? Uh, that's because when I make my spices, I put a silica gel packet in there to absorb any moisture. You can get those online at Amazon. Now this recipe for the fajita, it's about a tablespoon per pound of uh, produce, meat, vegetables, whatever you have. So what I like to do is coat everything I put about three tablespoons of oil. And now, start with the tablespoon per pound, and then you can adjust your seasonings as you go. You could even finish your dish by sprinkling some seasoning on top of it once it's cooked. All right, so I have uh, the oil and the seasoning. I'm just gonna toss everything. I'm gonna put a little bit more.
See how it's all coated? That's what you're looking for. I'll scoot the griddle so you can kind of see what's going on here because I have some more prep work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this griddle. I'm going to have it on 350, so it's medium high. All right, nice and hot, and I'm just going to pour these seasoned vegetables on this hot griddle. And let everything cook. While that's going, I'm going to make a quick topping for the top of these baked potatoes. And that is going to consist of lime. Now on your lime, you want to roll it. Get everything uh, softened on the lime so you can get as much juice out of it that you would need. All right, so... I've got my limes ready, and I'm going to de-seed the tomatoes. Just cutting the ends off, having them. And then I'm going to just cut that center right out. And then make sure I've got all the seeds out. And that's how you de-seed a tomato. I am just going to dice these tomatoes. I'm going to peel this red onion. All right, then I'm going to half it. and give it a dice. And into the bowl with the diced tomato. Okay, our fajitas are looking done. I'm gonna turn the heat back on that. All right. We've got the lime. I'm gonna half that. Juice it. I wanna get as much juice as possible out of this lime. All right, I'll save the other half for the fajitas. I'll put a little bit of this fajita seasoning in there three or four tablespoons of olive oil, just to bring it all together. Okay, let's give you a look at these fajitas. I'm going to take the other half of the lime 
and just get it all over these fajitas. Got this nice baked sweet potato. I'm gonna cut it a little bit more there so I can open it up. Let me get a clean towel. This baked potato is very hot. I wanna get in there and just kinda push it together so it opens up. Then I'll come in here and mash it up a little bit. And kinda tunnel it out so I can get toppings in there. Okay, so I've created like a little boat. We're just gonna put the fajitas in here. If they spill out, just grab them. So we've got fajita vegetables in there. I'm going to top it with the tomatoes and onion. I'm just gonna transfer it right here. Okay. There you have it, sweet potato topped with fajitas. Let's see how this tastes. Try some fajita over here. That fajita seasoning is nice and smoky, savory. Very good. And sweet potatoes are my favorite. Let's put it all together here. Mm. This is a nice, fresh alternative to fajitas with flour tortillas, beans, and rice. You don't miss the meat. You know, chicken, beef, you don't miss that. These mushrooms are savory and meaty. Mm. It's very good. To me, this tastes like comfort food. It's warm and satisfying. Try this and let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching The Rice's Kitchen. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.